is it normal uh, to have a bowel movement during labor or for the baby to have a bowel movement? Um, I believe it's called meconium. Yes. Um, so two separate things. Uh, the first one is it normal to have a bowel movement in labor. It happens occasionally for the patient as she's pushing the uh, during a second stage of labor and the baby's head comes through sometimes for stool to come through. In, in the past, uh, patients were uh, often subjected to um, a variety of preparations before they actually delivered. They were given an enema and they were given uh, uh, shave the pubic area. And we found that's really not necessary. And I think those are outmoded old fashioned techniques nowadays. So uh, the stool, if it happens, it happens. You know, obstetrician will usually take precaution of making sure the baby doesn't get contaminated with that. Now, the baby passing stool uh, called meconium, that does happen. It happens in, in a percentage of patients. It's a reasonably common occurrence. Uh, we sometimes think that it's the baby's way of telling us something is going on and maybe a response to the intrauterine environment. And on the patient, it is a sign that the baby may be having some difficulty in the uterus. But because it happens so frequently, it becomes a sort of a common occurrence. And uh, the most important factor for that is to uh, recognize, for the obstetrician, to recognize are there any issues that may be causing this baby to pass meconium in the uterus and alleviate some of those stressful conditions if those are the causes of it. Um, ultimately, the baby is going to be swimming in this meconium. Uh, and in fact, if the meconium stains the amniotic fluid, remember the baby continuously swallows amniotic fluid and passes through its system without any difficulty. But it's a time of birth that the baby may actually, when it takes its first breath and inhales its first breath, if it inhales meconium into its lungs, that may be a bit of a problem and it can cause some difficulty for the babies. There have been a variety of uh, uh, recommendations made on how to deal with meconium stained fluid at the time of delivery. The concepts have changed a little bit, and I think we now look at what are the risks for the baby actually inhaling that meconium. Is it in the baby's mouth? Is it simply the fluid that's, uh, that's stained? Uh, very often, the obstetrician or a pediatric attendant who may be present for the delivery will make sure the baby's mouth is clear so there's no meconium in the mouth that can be inhaled as the baby is born. Uh, again, it happens so frequently that it becomes a very routine process for us to kind of deal with it at the time of delivery.